Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video and we are here to show you the ARC dev kit today and this is what you're going to see as soon as you open up the entire screen right here. There's going to have three major panels and then this little screen right here. Now usually what I do, you want to have access to this so you can see the messages going on. So I usually drag it to one of my other screens. You can do what you want with it. It's up to you. I usually drag it off the screen. Now I want to see that. So it's up in a corner. So I still have access to it. But these are the other things that I need to see as well. So you got three major things right here. Now, before we go, if you don't mind, smack that like button, leave a comment below for the algorithm. And again, subscribe to the channel for some awesome content. And hopefully I'm helping you out. That's the only plug. So you've got three major panes, one left, middle, and right. Now, this middle section is going to be where you do most of your modding, and you're going to have to test abilities and kind of figure out what's going on from there. This left-hand side is going to give you access to all your file pathways, and this right-hand side is going to be your generic world settings and some other basic stuff. Now, what we're going to do, and this is very important, so click on the sources panel because this is where we're going to be able to access multiple things at the exact same time. Now, the most important thing right now, mods. We're gonna go ahead and open up the mods panel by clicking on the little arrow down next to it. And then you're gonna make yourself a brand new folder after highlighting the mods section right here. Click new, new folder, and then name it whatever you want. It does not matter. Now I've already got some made, so I'm not gonna like make another new folder. I'm gonna go ahead and delete the one that I just made and you can delete them and then change them around. So this is the one that I've made. It's called, now you're gonna grab all three things from the generic mods tab underneath the mods folder you'll see generic mod shift click all three of these things and then highlight them and then drag them over to your new folder and then click copy here now it's going to take some time for you to do this and the very first time you open this it's going to take a very long time so you might want to go grab a cup of coffee or hang out because this is basically rewriting all your files and it's going to take some time but so you can see what it looks like in the future this is what you're going to end up with and your mod section will show up underneath that. This is just some other stuff that I've worked on. So you can have individual mod files underneath your generic folder. But just so you can see, I've got some like Dragon's Breath shotguns that I've made, uh, a God pick and stuff like that. But this is what you're going to end up doing. I'll teach you how to do that. So right here, you can see it. So we have three separate things. Now you want the generic mod, primal game data and test game mode. Now all three of these are very important and they take some time to launch the first few times you do it. This one right here is the test game mode. This is gonna give you access to all the different types of settings like you would in a normal Arc server. This middle section, the primal game data takes a little while to open the first few times but it's basically gonna be everything that you need about generic settings for your arc and all of your mods. It's also gonna be where you look at all the individual engrams and all kinds of stuff for that. So this is very important to have this primal game one. You can see it right here. Um, I have engram blueprint classes, and then this is where you're gonna house a lot of your time underneath additional engram blueprint classes. And this is where you add your mods into your map. Now the next one, generic mod map or mod teach, whatever you wanna call it, whatever you've named it. Uh, this is what you're going to pull over to this next one it's loading map basically and this is just going to give you your generic mob mod map like this and it's going to load a black file now what you want to do see how i've renamed these you can click right click and then rename them you want to end them in your name so see i've done a generic mod underscore teach mods you do the same thing now same thing right here end it with your whatever it is your mods mine's teach mods and then again teach mods now you're going to do that. I would suggest pausing the video because it's going to take you a little time to right click, rename these things. And then I wouldn't de uh, delete the entire thing just at the very end, append it, I believe is what it's called with your name. And that's basically what you're looking for. This is going to give you access to a specific file tree. So that way you can always separate these from your generic mods because you want two separate folders for these. You don't want them to be the same thing because you don't want to accidentally overwrite yourself. Once you do that, that's pretty much set up our left side for our initial thing. Now this middle section, just so you can see how it works, basically I move around, it's kind of hard to see like this, but if you go to file, open level, this is how you can access different levels. We're gonna go ahead and click on test map area, and this is gonna load a little map for us, which is very useful. You can see it right here, and this is how you move. So left click, this can be very use, like useless basically. Left click will only mess with you. It allows you to do a lot of different things and move forwards. I really recommend you use right click because right click will allow you to look and then use your WASD keys to move in any direction you want. And then you can also use your E and Q's. E will raise you, Q will drop you down. Whereas 
WASD is kind of just like your normal movement. But you're going to use right click to look around and that's kind of how you move with this mod. Now you can also use your scroll wheel and we're scrolling it up high like moving it forwards will speed you up and then scrolling low down will slow you down very slowly. So those are the different keys that you can use for this center piece right here in order to kind of coast around the screen. That's as far as we're going to go into this middle section right here, but that's just your starter. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up your world settings on the right hand side. In order to do that, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and go over to this section over here, window, and then you're going to go down to world settings right here. Now, by clicking that, you're going to open up all the individual settings on your screen. And then you're going to go ahead and scroll down until the point where you can actually see that your mod is available. Now, obviously, I have to go up, scroll up a little bit because I passed it right here. But Primal Game Data, this is what we're looking here, Override. Click on it, and it's going to take a second to construct your data, basically. It's going to pull all the stuff from your computer. Basically, what's happening every time you click and you see these, like, construct and rename and all this kind of stuff, you're able to watch it in that window that I showed you earlier, and it's going to change. I'll bring it down so you can see all of the different stuff about your computer. You can see that there's warnings. As long as you're not seeing much red, you're pretty set. Red is not a good thing. And then as it's constructing what's going on over here, we're going to go ahead and select the thing that you just named over here, your generic mod, whatever you want to call it. It's up to you what you call it, but that's what you're going to select for that side over there. All right, now that we've loaded our primal game data override, what we can do is we can click on it and you can see that I've got a couple different options over here. Obviously, there you're going to have some basic stuff, your base, core, core media, and then you're going to have whatever you've created down in this section right here. Now, this is my teach mods because I want to load in my mods. This is going to allow our game whenever we start it up to basically pull our mods that we've created over here into the game. Now, in order to load yourself into the game after doing all your creation, we'll click the play button which will probably take a little bit the first time you've played. You can use it just like you would in any normal Arc WASD, and then you've got first persons and then third person if you want it. Jump everything you have. Now you're gonna be able to wanna to use this tab command, and then GCM is always a good thing. It'll give you a list of commands that you can use, and it, this is a good thing to have access to so you can kind of move around in this section. It is just like normal arc though, you would move just like you normally would with base controls. So unless you've changed your controls, it's gonna be exactly the same as it is. And that's what and that's basically our start up to this. And this is kind of like all of our basics. So hopefully this helps you out. And again, make sure you smack that like button, leave a comment below for the algorithm, and then subscribe and we'll continue our little series here. All right, teach out.